is I'm basically going to draw the vector from the origin to these points the point equivalents, right? the points that are associated with these so vectors are these objects that have a length which is called the magnitude and a direction so it's kind of like an arrow but the arrow itself has a length and it's pointing a certain direction so with this notation it's always pointing from the origin 0 0 0 to this point so this point or this point so the point is going to be where the tip of the arrow actually is so from the origin to this point so I think that this is nice because you're kind of representing the vector by the endpoint part and if you can kind of envision this like in, in three-dimensional space that arrow is going to have a length and the length is going to be whatever the distance is from the origin to this point and there's a formula but we're not going to calculate it now so it totally depends like the, the direction of it totally depends on what this endpoint part is and this endpoint part is and where it is relative to the origin so i hope that that makes sense so the reason i like this notation is because it looks very cleanly like x y z so if i just replace it you have the point but then the pointy bracket part lets you know it's actually the vector so i think it's very clear this way okay so the word product in dot product and cross product kind of imply that we will be multiplying these vectors and that's what we are going to do kind of so the thing is when you add vectors and we're going to come back to this at some point but if you were to just do u plus v you actually get another vector where you can just add the corresponding coordinates so the x and the x so 1 plus 2 would be 3 comma negative 1 plus 3 is 2 very good and then 2 plus 0 is 2 so the vector 3 2 2 is the vector u plus v and there's actually like a visual representation of adding vectors but this is how you could find the coordinates the coordinates right remember this is now the vector from 0 0 0 to 3 2 2 so the thing is for multiplication you can't do that so you have two types of products the dot product and the cross product but neither of which are just the vector 1 times 2 negative 1 times 3 2 times 0 so neither not not not, not, not. so neither are going to just be this vector where you multiply corresponding coordinates so i'm here to hopefully save you that trouble so this is not how we multiply vectors so to speak instead we have two types of products so the dot product and the cross product so for now let's focus on the dot product so try to just avoid just simply multiplying coordinates that way and just making a vector so the dot product we write literally with the dot so u dot v like that and in algebra and stuff you start to write you know times with the dot like two dot three to get two times three right because the the typical cross for multiplication looks like an x so you move along to start writing like two dot three for multiplication so it's kind of like that but u dot v gives you a number or a scalar okay so like we said neither neither the dot product nor the cross product is going to just be the vector where you multiply the coordinates in this case you don't even get a vector at all you get a single number so what you do is you do multiply those pairs the x parts the y parts and the z parts but you're going to add those products together to get a single number and that is going to be the dot product so let's just write it out here one times two and then plus and then negative one times three and then plus two times zero okay very nice so we do multiply the 
these pairs, but then we add together to get a single number. Now, just like we said out loud just now, we do have to follow the order of operations. So multiplication first before addition or subtraction. So let's just simplify this now that we have the formula. One times two is two. Very nice. Negative one times three is negative three because a negative times a positive is negative. So plus negative three. And then plus two times zero is zero. And now the plus minus three is a concept from algebra. You can either just recognize that as negative three. You can picture the plus as being like a plus one, which is the multiplicative identity. So you just get the minus three. You can think of it as moving to the right. Negative three spaces on the number line. Whatever, whatever your justification is, this is the same as two minus three plus zero. And two minus three is negative 1, and negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1 still. So that's it, just negative 1. So notice u dot v is going to just be a number. Again, we are just multiplying the corresponding coordinates, so the x's together, the y's together, and the z's together, and then we add those products together to get a single number. And that's it. For those of you who like formulas, you can generalize this by using u1, u2, u3 for three dimensions, v1, v2, v3, and the dot product would be u1 times v1, or u1, v1 plus u2, v2 plus u3, v3, and that would be it. And then you can just plug in whatever numbers you want here. So the cross product, we will be doing this like probably a tutorial style just because this is a lot of writing. The cross product is written like this and you're going to get another vector. So the cross product does give you a vector, but again, it's not just the vector where you multiply the corresponding elements. It's a bit more complicated. There is a formula that you can memorize as well with the u1, u2, u3s, v1, v2, v3s kind of thing and there are shortcuts and tricks to memorize the shortcut to the other shortcut to the other shortcut. And for me, since it's been a really long time uh, since I've learned linear algebra, I'm always a fan of just memorizing the fewest things possible. And so I like to memorize the general you know, process if possible. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to find the cross product by finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. It does get a bit more complicated, so I'm saving that for the next video. But I just wanted to emphasize again, it's not just the vector where you multiply corresponding elements, okay? But you do get a vector. So the dot product gives you a scalar. The uh, cross product gives you a vector, and I hope that that's a good enough takeaway for now. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm curious if you are taking linear algebra or are interested in it. Um, as usual, 